Howdy YouTube, today we're taking a look at the WWE Mattel Elite Series 42. We've got the Nasty Boys, Brian Nobbs and Jerry Sags. Two really cool looking figures. When I first saw these guys uh, that they were announced, I was very excited. Certainly, uh, I think one of the best tag teams in terms of attire and look. They had a great feel to them. One of the, uh, I guess, most notable tag teams, really, from WCW. Represented really well in figure form. They look great. I, unfortunately, never got to see them in their prime in, uh, say, WWF or WCW. The first time I saw these guys was actually in TNA, where I guess they were a bit older, a bit fatter. And uh, at the time, at least what I can remember, was them feuding with the Dudley Boys in TNA. And uh, I can't actually remember who won or who lost. I think the Dudley boys beat them, to be uh, honest. But I remember thinking, wow, they're a cool-looking tag team. And I'm really excited to get these guys opened up and out of packaging. They come with the soft um, rubber coats, which normally I'm not a fan of. But on these guys, they don't look too bad. I'm really keen to see the uh, attire that they're wearing. It looks visually very cool, very colorful. Packaging, it's the standard elite style packaging. These guys have the old school WWF Legends logo on them. They are, of course, an elite flashback figure set. So with that, let's get the Nasty Boys opened up. But before we open them up, we'll take a quick look at the back of the packaging. And uh, there you've got Brian Nobbs and Jerry Sags. Two big guys, that's for, for sure. I rate the uh, location. They're from Nastyville. The signature move, the pit stop and the tr trip to Nash uh, Nastyville, sorry, Nashville. Don't know where I got that from. Uh, highlights, World Tag Team Champion, WCW Tag Team Champion. And what's interesting is Brian Nobbs was actually the WCW Hardcore Champion. That's kind of cool. Other figures in the set, of course, you've got Kalisto, Xavier Woods, Triple H, and Adrian Neville. A solid lineup of figures. I recommend each one of them. I've reviewed Kalisto, and that's an awesome figure. But everyone in this set... I think uh, Mattel deserves a bit of credit. They are all awesome looking figures. So with that, let's get the nasty boys opened up and out of packaging. Okay, and here we've got both figures opened up and out of packaging, obviously with their entrance attire. They look really nice. They do have a few problems, which is a, a bit of a shame. But in terms of the actual figures themselves, they are quite cool. The coats on the back, I think it's worth showing off. That's some great detail. I love, it's like the 80s sort of punk rock kind of feel to them. Punk rock probably isn't the right word, but, you know, it's got like that fluoro kind of rave feel to it, which I, I really like. The chains on the back, nice additions as well. And what's good about that is it shows that Mattel put a bit of effort into these guys. It's not like the Undertaker coat that they've just reused and reissued. They have put a bit of work in, and that... Makes me happy. That was one of the things with the Jacks Nasty Boys. I think uh, the figures were missing a little bit. Uh, in terms of the sunglasses, obviously nice detail on those as well. Hopefully you can see that. They do uh, have a hard time fitting. I had to squish them a little bit just because uh, the way they were placed in the packaging had warped them a little bit. Uh, in terms of detail with the coats on, there's not a lot uh, more that you can really go into. I'm uh, more keen to see their attire, obviously, with the coats off. Just a quick little side note, normally I hate these coats because they're notoriously hard to take off and put back on. It seems Mattel have fixed that with these two. It's a slightly different material. It's a much softer rubber, so it comes off much easier. And that makes me very happy because that was probably the one thing of these figures I was cautious about the most. Okay, so here we've got both figures opened up and out of packaging with their, I guess, in-ring attire on. Two really cool looking figures. I'm very happy I was able to pick these guys up. Where did I find them? I found them at my local Target for the great price of $29, which is about double what the basic series sell for, but significantly cheaper than if you were to get these guys from online or a specialty store, which is basically, previously, the only way you could get the WWE Elite figures. So that makes me very happy. Let's start by taking a look at the faces on both these guys. Some nice detail and some really good face scans. I'll bring that forward. I think they nailed that. I like how his teeth are chipped and you get that detail on it on it as well. Looking good. Right, the uh, mullet mohawk 
thing that he's got going on as well. And this, visually, I love this. I'd love them to release this color scheme for a Macho Man figure. That would be epic. And then moving down, there's no detail on the tights or anything like that. It is just the, the straight up uh, Nasty Boys attire and nothing wrong with that. There we go. Take a look at the hair on this one is excellent. I think they did such a good job with the detail, which Mattel sometimes doesn't always do. Some of their figures do lack a bit of detail. Tattoos on the, the arms as well, knobs and sag, which is good because if you're a young fan and you don't know who either of these two are, at least the, the tattoos, I suppose, help you identify them. One thing that's interesting is you can see their attire that they're wearing underneath their shirt. You can, I guess, if you really tried, take the shirt off, but it is glued, so you would effectively wreck the figure, so I'm not going to do that. I assume it's just a standard torso that they've used. In terms of articulation, both have the standard elite articulation, which means you get a ball jointed head, ball jointed arms, swivel bicep, bend at the elbow, swivel wrist, swivel waist, ab crunch, which is a little bit limited just due to the attire. You get swivel in the legs, swivel in the thigh, double bend at the knee, swivel in the boot, and swivel in the ankle. So a ton of movement and articulation, which is always very good. Two outstanding looking figures, and two of my favorite tag team figures that Mattel have released, at least in recent memory. If you're a WCW fan or a Nasty Boys fan, no question, these are a must-have. Even if you're not, even if you don't know a lot about them, look them up on the WWE Network, watch some of their effectively squash matches that they had. Some of those are really good to see, by the way. But a top tag team, top figures, and a good job by Mattel. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review on Brian Nobbs and Jerry Sags, the Nasty Boys.